beautiful people. How you doing? Andrea Ellis here, Fear Free Living LLC. I'm back today. Happy Thursday. Hope you're doing well um, and hope you're pushing through those challenges like I always say. I've been having some challenging. Uh, past two months has been a lot of challenge um, and especially these past two weeks. Oh, hey, uh, Crystal. Blessings, blessings. Yeah, so it's been a lot of challenges going on. So like I always tell you guys, you know, you in life, you have to learn to push through things because if not, then um, life will swallow you up. You know, life will swallow you up. So you have to learn to push through and keep your focus on where you're trying to go. Keep your focus on the results you're looking for. Keep your focus on the promises that God has told you and um remind yourself that better days are ahead and that you will win this battle you always have to do that because otherwise you'll get stuck in the moment and i know it's easier said than done but i'm telling you it's something you have to learn to do you know what i mean so um for those of you that are new to me my name is andrea ellis i'm a life coach i'm the founder and ceo of fear free living llc it's a soul and mind wellness company that specializes in helping christian women overcome their fear issues that are controlled by fear to overcome it so they could accomplish their dreams and goals and be about God's purpose for their lives. So guys, today, um, it's, just, it's an encouraging message and the Lord says that it's okay not to have it all figured out. It's okay to have it not all figured out. You know, I don't think anyone has it all figured out. There are variables that we are not even in our control that will come along in life and we have to learn to maneuver through it and learn to adjust our lives through it and a lot of times we have to learn to grow through it so we don't we don't have everything all figured out and you should never have that mindset that you have to have everything figured out um to move forward and um I jot down a few things that the Lord said that the journey is about figuring things out as you go and effectively using that information um, that you figured out on the way to use it towards your future to what's next and what you're going to be doing. He says, don't wait to figure it all out. You never will. Um, it's 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 as you go that things become unveiled to you. So it's on the go a lot of times that you will learn and you will figure things out. Now, obviously, there are things you have to prepare for. You should do your research, um, depending on what the situation about. You know, some people have to get training, different things. But in general, you're not going to have everything figured out. And definitely us as believers, as you learn to walk by faith, that's part of what faith is, is really trusting God, although you don't know everything, although certain things don't look right, and the Lord has promised you that it will be a certain way, and in the natural right now in your life, you don't see it that way, and you kind of have to believe Him, regardless of what it looks like, um, knowing that things will change, you know, as long as you keep doing your part as well. You know, there's there's a two-part, we're co-laborers with Christ, right? So there's a two parts to this. But if the Lord told you you just need to rest and you just need to wait, then you need to do that. Um, now, wait doesn't mean you don't ever do anything. It depends on the situation, you know, like someone, for instance, uh, waiting on meeting, um, they're being connected to their spouse or whatever. It doesn't mean like you cannot do things in the meantime to, I personally believe you should be working on yourself um, to, uh, you know, uh, 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 pursuing your dreams, your goals, your passion, working on yourself as far as like your issues, things that you've been traumatized, that have traumatized you, that have created patterns and behaviors that are unhealthy, unhealed area, things like that. Like, you should be working on that to better yourself, period. You know, and I think that's one of the best way to do it is as a single person, because in um, marriage relationship, that carries its own different challenge. So I believe if certain things you get done as a single person, you won't have to deal with that in in a relationship. You know what I mean? But waiting doesn't mean you don't do anything like you just sit and wait in. You know, what can you be doing? Like live your life. If you want to travel, travel, and you need to go to school, go to school. If, you know, you want to have your own home, buy your own home. Like, wait doesn't mean you sit around, wait. It doesn't mean you are on pause and you're not doing anything. You know what I mean? You should be doing something towards whatever the Lord is telling you. I'm talking to Christian 
people, specifically Christian women, you should, whatever you're supposed to be doing right now, um, you're supposed to be pursuing that and not just putting your life on hold, waiting. I didn't know I was going to talk about that, but that came up. But the main part of this message is it's okay not to have it all figured out. Don't let that stop you from moving. Like, don't wait. It's on as you go. I'm hearing like a go. As you go, as you're in movement, then things will flow. Things will more come to you. Doesn't mean there won't be challenges, but it's a lot of time as you go and as you do certain things, then other things then you'll be connected at the right time with the other information that you need to find out. You might be connected to people that need to help you on your journey with information that you need or support that you need or training that you need. It depends on your situation. You know what I mean? Or if you need um, uh, uh, therapy that's coming up in my spirit, you know, is as you make that move to find a therapist, you know, you know what I mean? That, um, that you and you prayerfully do it, then the Lord can connect you with the right person for you. That's a good fit for you. But if you, you have to be in movement, you have to be in the right movement, by the way, not just movement, but the right movement, meaning whatever instruction the Lord has given you for you to be doing at that time, you have to be in movement in that. And as you do that, then the other things will come. Like you can't try to figure out, um, letter s and you haven't done a you know if we're going through the alphabet like you have to do a first before you can even get to s so a lot of times we're trying to get to the end of the thing and because we don't know everything in between then we don't start at all god wants people to start and stop waiting stop using i haven't figured all this out yet and that's why i haven't done anything stop using that it's okay he says not to have it all figured out but also it's on the way, on the go, on the move, you will figure things out, okay? So I love you guys. I hope this will um, encourage somebody to not wait to try to figure everything out before you start moving in whatever you're supposed to be moving on. Don't wait, guys. Don't wait. Start moving on that thing, whatever that is for you. This is different for everybody. So whatever that is for you, stop, wait, and start being on the move about it. And as you be on the move about it, other God will help you to figure other things out that you need to figure out as you, as as you are going to need to know that in the time that you need to know it. Some things we don't need to know yet because we're not even in that time and some things we're not even prepared to know yet, you know, depending on what the circumstances is. So what are you doing with what you know now? You know, start moving on that. Start moving on what you know right now and stop like getting way ahead of yourself and try to get to the end of the thing. Start at the beginning and go from there. You know what I mean? So don't wait and it's okay. Don't wait to try to figure everything out. You never will. As walking by faith is mean you don't figure, you don't know everything. You know what I mean? And um, it's as you go and as you need to know that things will be revealed to you. Some of you, things aren't revealed because it will freak you out. You're not even in the right mindset yet. Like it will be too big for you to understand. So God have to expand your mindset and your thinking to even before he can even give you a glimpse of where he's trying to take you because if he showed you now you'll shut it down because you don't have the faith in yourself you don't believe it's too over your head so even that is sometimes a protection until we're ready to receive that information you know what i'm saying so it's okay to not have it all figured out guy if you think oh i'm a certain age i should have had this this should have been done i should have figured this out already don't be too hard on yourself. Just start where you're at and don't let not no, figuring it all out stop you from starting. Don't let that stop you from starting and, and, and keeping you on a waiting when you need to go. I'm hearing just go. Just go with whatever that is. Start moving on it. So I love you guys. My name is Andrea Ellis and um, I'll see you guys next Thursday again. I hope this will help somebody. Um, you, it's okay not to have it all figured out. Okay, and it's as you go that things will be revealed to you. Start working on your next, start working on what you need to do right now. And in time, the other things will come to light. Okay, so I hope this was a help. Be blessed, y'all. Um, if you need coaching, um, click the link in my bio. Okay, um, it's time for you guys to that are still controlled by fear to take steps to 
um, overcome that. Take steps towards helping to work in that area so that you are no longer controlled by it. Okay, so you could click the link in my bio for coaching. Uh, do a consultation, see if we're a good fit and go from there. So I love you guys. I'll see you guys next Thursday. Be blessed, y'all. Bye.